Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also, uh, like, comment, share, all of that would be very much appreciated. Um, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story uh, series on um, superhero twin flames. Um, it's called uh, Perception. The Two Yet One, books one and two. You can find links to purchase my books from Amazon in the description box below. All you gotta do is hit the little black or gray arrow that's right beneath the video to open up the description box. Uh, you can also find links in the description box to view uh, trailers that I created for each of my books. Oops, the candle just went out. Hang on. Sorry about all the noise in the background. People are watching movies or or a TV show or something in the next room. Let's just light that candle here. There we go. Alrighty. Um, so where was I? Uh, the trailers for my books. You can find links to... Um, Watch the trailers uh, for my books in the description box. That I created them so that they uh, give hints to the storyline. Um, but you can also find links um, to lives that I've uploaded. I'm reading book one aloud to my Facebook friends and followers currently. I've read up to chapter nine, so I'm halfway through the book. There's 18 chapters in the book. So if you like uh, superheroes, this is a different kind of superhero. Uh, if you like audiobooks, uh, go ahead and check it out. We're having a lot of fun with it. Join in on the fun. I created a playlist for it where you can find all the chapters. That link is also in the description box. Um, and it has the trailers in that as well. Um, you can also find links to view uh, two videos that I made a few years back about me. My story, um, my books are based on me and my twin flame, our lives. And uh, so uh, I uploaded those lives from Facebook describing my story. Um, you can also find links uh, for my author's page on Facebook as well as my personal wall if you want to follow me or send me a friend request. You can also find a link to my friend April's new astrology channel. If there's anything astrological in this reading that you're left with questions about, go ahead and check her out. Her readings... Uh, her videos may clear something up for you. Um, check her out, subscribe, she's awesome. Uh, also, if you would like a personal reading, I am now offering those. If you would like to book one, uh, the information to contact me is also in the description box below. This is a timeless reading. If you're attracted to it, that's when I trust that it's right for you. Uh, this is the Celtic Crossbred. I read it uh, slightly differently than other readers, so I'll explain as I go. Uh, for me, as a reader, major arcana cards are messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is your life's plan, um, the reason you incarnated as the being, that you are learning the lessons that you're learning here uh, on this plane, this earth, uh, to raise the vibration of your soul. Uh, also, I view the minor arcana cards as um, your free will as a being, okay? And if a card is upside down... What that means is that that energy is simply not in full force, but it is either manifesting or coming into being, or it is fading, uh, depending, or is it's a possibility, depending on the position of the card. Okay, so at the, at the heart of everything for you right now, Taurus, you've got some sort of destiny coming your way here. Okay, this is the Wheel of Fortune. It is right side up. If it had been upside down, I would say that the Wheel of Fortune for you is about to turn. It has already turned. Now, this destiny can have something to do with karma. So there could be, I'm feeling it's positive. Some positive karma that has a lot to do with, with the reason you're here. Your divine blueprint is in full effect right now. You could have uh, just, you know, you could have won something. Did you win the lottery? Uh, did your fortune come in? Did you inherit something? You see what I'm saying? Something really good uh, has happened for you and you're just feeling awesome and this good thing uh, was meant to happen, okay? Now, 
I can see that you're, this is a very positive thing that happened because what you have here is the uh, Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, uh, it doesn't matter if you're an earth sign such as yourself, Taurus. So if, you're feel, if this is your energy, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful, you're feeling passionate, you're feeling like you look good. Uh, you know what you're doing here, and because these these uh, cards that that are directly affecting what's at the heart of everything for you are always red right side up. Okay, so man or woman, you've got the uh, Queen of Wands energy going on for you here, and they're showing me this um, pine cone and telling me how it's earth related. The pine cone represents the pineal gland. Notice how this queen's eyes are closed. Okay, something that you followed your intuition on helped you get this destiny, this fortune, this fate, this good karma. Because um, she she's definitely uh, using her intuition. Her head is shining like uh, she's enlightened. She yeah. So I mean, look at her. She's, you know, most of the time the Queen of Wands will have a small domestic black cat next to her, but she's got a cheetah that is a large cat and they are fast and they are confident and they have to be confident to go after their prey. They have to know that, okay, yeah, I, I have a chance in catching that prey. I'm going to take off and they have to be very careful with their energy, and so they, they're very good at calculating uh, whether or not they can catch a prey. Now, I'm not saying that they always catch their prey 100% of the time, but what it's telling me is that you knew intuitively that if you did something, you'd get it. And I think that's what happened here. Okay, so the next energy that we read is what's at the root of everything here. Now, this is the, another major arcana card. So this is another energy that's part of your divine blueprint. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Now, it's upside down. So I, I feel like this is something. Now, I can't say that this, most of the time, this is a leap of faith or a new beginning. Okay. But I would not say at this time that this is something that you did not do since it's upside down. You did. You took a, le a leap of faith. The root of it is that you've got another one coming. It's not fully manifested. This, this right here could have been practice. So you wouldn't be feeling good if you didn't do something. You, if you did something intuitively here, you took a leap of faith. And you got your destiny. You're feeling great. So this, as the root of it all, would have been like this. If this was the same leap of faith, but it's not. This is upside down. So I think you've got another one coming. So this one is going to bring you even more of what you have already achieved. This has all the elements. It's got earth. It's got air. It's got fire. Okay, and it's got water. And he, he is, seems very innocent, okay? And um, he doesn't even know that this tiger is chewing up his leg because he is just so um, in tune with spirit. He, he is before the new beginning. He's zero. Zero is actually uh, feminine. So this is very balanced because this looks like, like a masculine, but the number... Is feminine zeros and ones that's the binary code the one is the masculine and the zero is the feminine okay and they're showing me that this is even creating zeros and this air energy with the, the bird and the flying caduceus and the and the butterfly this is the dove of peace okay so this is going to bring you abundance and peace because you I think you're just getting really good at following your intuition here Taurus also we're going to have um a full moon in Taurus, and uh, there's telling me something about that. You're going to feel very powerful. Alrighty. Now this is the energy that is moving out of your energy at this time, Taurus. There was something that you had the upper hand on. This is fully manifested energy. 
If it had been like this, I would say that this was a possibility that never manifested and now it's on its way out. But nope, this is right side up. And so there was some sort of conflict <clears throat> or you were feeling defensive, okay? And um, you had the upper hand and you knew that. Okay, and you got through this conflict. And it could be that you, because you knew you had the upper hand intuitively, this queen of wands, fire energy, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. And by the way, this is also Aries energy. Um, you knew that you had the upper hand. And now this is over with. Okay. Now, the next two cards for me as a reader are reader are future cards. Uh, this is usually a more immediate future, and this is a future that occurs after this one. But now, you know, it's you. I say usually because they've been switching up on me, so I just read them. I figure it out as I read them both now. Um, you go down and in a clockwise motion. So we read this one first. And here we have another Major Arcana card. This is the Major Arcana card of Cancer. This could be a Cancer coming in, into your life in your not-so-near future, I'm thinking. Um, this is, yeah, this is the not-so-near future. This is coming after this one, okay? So um, this is charging forward. This is a victory card, okay? This is you being in control of your chariot, which is you. Um... I don't, I don't know, it could be a cancer related, uh, there could be a cancer in your life, but I'm really feeling mostly that this is you. This is going to be you. Um, you're really getting good at taking charge of your life and listening to your intuition and, and building your abundance up, okay? Now, if this had been upside down as a future card, I would say this is still simply a possibility, but no, this is right side up, This so this is going to happen. You're going to charge forward, and you're going to be victorious. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, though, because you look at these sphinxes down here, okay? In another, see, these two are looking away, and they're, they're really just kind of sitting there, too, aren't they? But in other tarot decks, you've got a black horse and a white horse, and one is going one way, and the other is going the other way. And so it's kind of hard for this charioteer to uh, control them. But this is stability here. He, he does end up controlling them and he does move forward it's just not always you know really easy but at least it's stable because they're showing me these poles as if they're the the four of wands that's never happened before to me as a reader so um you might want to look up 11 11 because this is this is four of wands here But it, it kind of looks like there might be more. Like these right here might have another one, but it's not because it's, this is the chariot right here. How very interesting. So, yeah. Okay, so you're going to, it, yeah, like I said, it won't be all that easy. Oh, and there you are right there. That's a very Taurus energy as well. But you're going to, it's not, it may not be that easy, but you're going to do it. Okay. And you're meant to, because this is a major arcana card. You're going to be victorious, and you're going to be stable, and you may uh, there's going to be some sort of celebration going on. Now here, we have the six. And even though these are wands, I feel somewhat like these are connected, okay? Because even though these are swords, this is the six. The six of swords. Um, now you'll see that it's upside down. So this is still just a possibility. Okay, now what you're going to end up doing is you're going to realize that there are some essential questions that need to be asked before you can move on. So what my guides are doing right now is they're combining two different types of uh, definitions or, or energies rather for this card. This could have something to do with Aquarius. The sword energy is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Got Mercury up there as well. Maybe it's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down right now because the Mercury re retrograde, they're saying, yeah. So now this is called science. 
So for me, this card is always saying there's a lot of essential questions that you've got to ask because you ask a question, you get the answer, and it leaves you with, with more questions, and you just keep going, and that's exactly what scientists do. Plus, this is swords. This is logic. This is mental energy. This is thoughts. This is words. Um, so it's like there's some investigation, but in other decks, like the Rider Waite, what you'll see is a, a figure or two in a boat, and the six swords are in the uh, bow of the boat, and they're moving from choppy waters onto calmer waters. Um, and so most of the time, my guides tell me whether this is one or the other of those, those uh, meanings, but this time it's telling me it's both. Okay? There are some essential questions that you need to ask before you can move on. See what I'm saying? And I don't feel like I really have to tell you this because you're really getting good at including uh, the divine in your decisions, in your, um, in your manifesting, but this cross represents the, the masculine energies and the rose in the middle ma represents the feminine. Okay? And to me, these swords are questions where all questions should point or be uh, balanced by, or yeah, they should all point towards the divine, okay? The, the truth of life. If we ignore the divine, we don't really get the entire answer, okay? And so, yeah, there's going to be some questions that you'll be using your logic for and once you do that, you'll be able to move on. You'll be able to charge forward. See what I'm saying? All right, so the next energy that we read is your, um, your hope card. And this is a wonderful hope. Uh, so your hopes are beginning to manifest this. This is cup energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is... Um, Boy, my guides just don't, cannot stop pointing out Mars, okay? I, I, Mars is in Aries and it's in retrograde right now, okay? So this conflict was because of that, okay? Mars in Aries, it, retrograde, is bringing up feelings of conflict, of war. Uh, people are cranky. I mean, Aries um, was the god of war. You know, and Mars is the masculine energy, okay? And what we have here is Mars at the top of this cascade of cups, which are emotion and everything. So they're telling me that this is meaning that this, the balance, right now it's upside down. So you're, you're hoping for this satiety. This is feeling really great, maybe a little overwhelmed with good emotions, um, but once, because it's like this, okay, they're telling me that once um, Mars in Aries is out of retrograde, which is uh, November 13th, this card will flip and, and everybody's going to feel a lot better because it's really messing with everybody all over the world. Um, it hasn't happened for something like 30 years. It's a really major event, okay? Um, that's why they keep pointing it out to me. So... Now what they're showing me is how much these cups look like uh, uteruses. And so there's creativity in each of these cups. These cups each have the ability to give life to something else that will bring you love and joy, happiness, and feeling good. And also water uh, represents intuition. So I just feel now they're saying the more you use your intuition, uh, the more good will come from it. The more you'll feel good about yourself and your life and, your, and the things that you're manifesting for yourself. Okay? Now, right, here we go. Um, now, this is another reference to conflict right now. This is your uh, environment card. This could be you. This could be um, an air sign around you or a feminine who's just feeling pretty cranky right now, angry. Um, or this could be you just having some conflict and strife in your mind. Like I said, 
swords are mind energy, their thoughts, their logic. This this princess Okay, the she's her mother is the queen of swords, okay? And the queen of swords has mastered her mind. Okay? So she's relaxed. But this is the princess. She's far from mastering her mind like her mother. So she's still dealing with conflict and strife. And this is the stuff that makes her angry. This card is often called the anger of the gods. As a person, this, this uh, feminine energy is uh, intellectual. She's very perceptive. She's very intuitive. So this could be your energy right now that's making you feel kind of cranky because of all this Mars and Aries retrograde stuff. This is a somebody who observes and brings clarity and insight, but she has no tolerance for things like injustice and manipulation. She can be brutally honest. Okay, so either this is you feeling kind of annoyed right now or just really feeling pissed off. Um, maybe even though you were, you had the upper hand in this conflict, maybe it's still bugging you. Okay? Because this is, you know, you haven't quite mastered your mind. Maybe that's what this is trying to say. You're, you're getting really good at this uh, manifesting stuff, but you have to master uh, your mind. You have to master your emotions as well that the mind messes with you with. Okay, because she's fully in her energy. Now, they're telling me to show you that she's green because she's healing. When you feel anger, you, you're supposed to look at it. Okay, There's, you have to find out why anger is not like inherently evil or we, we can ever eradicate it. We have to look at the reason why we're angry because it's indicative of something that's wrong around us or something that's wrong inside of us. Like I said, she has not mastered her mind yet. There's essential questions that you've got to ask. Now, here's your fear. You're afraid of more strife. Okay? So this that you just went through must have been, you know, really sucky. Okay? Now you're afraid of more. But the thing about this is that there will be a constructive outcome to it. Like I was saying, anger and conflict isn't always just there to mess with you. And throw you off a lot of the times it'll be constructive okay so this is the thing about the five of wands and this is right side up too and this is because this, this is your fear card okay this is your environment this is your hopes this is your fear so you're afraid of more of this stuff but just know that it's there to teach you stuff and it's there to uh, this one in particular will have um, a fair or constructive outcome to it you'll one day you'll be like oh now I see you know so use this energy in a more positive light this could have something to do with a, a Leo this one also had something to do with a Leo okay it could be a Leo that's bugging you in your life now remember though okay you're feeling pretty good right now because you got through this one and this is how you're gonna feel when you get through this one too okay there's something in the back of your mind that's bugging you okay you have to learn from it so that you can feel like this more, okay? Now here, this is your outcome, and you are manifesting new love, okay? This could be a partnership, um, business partnership or whatever, but I, I just kind of feel like this is love. It is love. This could be, um, and here's your ruler right here Taurus like this could be a cancer but this this is also you this is your ruler this rules Libra so it could be um, just loving life or loving falling in love while you're going through all this stuff you might be hit upside the head with a new love that's what this leap of faith could be Okay, so, um, and it could be that this, this right here could be this person in your life. This could be a feminine energy in your life. This is how she really is, but she's angry right now. And it doesn't mean this is a woman. I'm just saying this is a feminine energy. This could be a, a, a person.
okay? But I'm feeling most, mostly that for most of you, this is you. And this is like an underlying, you know, you feel great about one thing, but you're still kind of mad about it type deal, okay? Now, this is the, the underlying energy. And this is the minor arcana uh, for the Empress. So I'm really feeling this strong feminine energy. Now, there's uh, Venus again, okay? And while this is a Virgo energy, this is still your energy, Taurus. This is Earth energy, okay? And a lot of the times you'll see this woman, uh, on like Rider Waite, the Rider Waite deck. She's standing there. She's by herself. She's independently fine. She's independently wealthy. She's got everything she needs except a partner. Okay? So... This is the underlying energy. Maybe you've been alone too long. These two Venuses here are really speaking to me. You know, you could be dealing with a love relationship here that once you ask these essential questions and are able to move on to this, this could be the victory because you've been alone. You've been really good. You know, you got your fortune. But you've been alone. Okay. Let's see what else is under here. Oh, two. You know, there's your passionate couple. This could be a decision that you have to make. But I'm just really feeling like this is, see, this is a passionate love. And here we've got this Aries and Mars thing going on again. Okay. It's, it's reversed. It's really bugging people. But you're going to have this. There's the Leo again. Okay. But it's still victory victory in your passion okay there's just one more battle to go you might be feeling pretty tired you know you might be feeling kind of beat up but you know you're still bugging with this perhaps you know but then you're you know you're gonna start working hard and you're gonna find your happiness and you're gonna become a boss you're gonna get into boss energy and then everything is gonna be great <laughs> yeah this is also Aries energy. You see this? Man. This this Mars and Aries retrograde is not over yet. That's why these are upside down. And it's a really big um, issue for everybody. That's why this hasn't manifested just yet either. Okay. But the sun is, is on its way. Okay. And you've already got things pretty good. So I I don't think you're feeling sorry for yourself or anything. I think what you're doing is you're just kind of like, God, this that really bugged me, you know, what you've been going through. But um, all right. So how much uh, control do you have over this situation? I can gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor arcana. And you start off with one right away here, Taurus. So this is one, two, three. Just check in because one reading I missed one and I felt really silly afterwards. But nope, only three of them. And look, they're all in a row. All right. And uh, so three out of ten cards means that you've got a whole heck of a lot of control over this situation. Um, right now you've got the destiny that you've deserved. You've got your fortune. This is good karma. This is awesome. You've got another leap of faith coming. That's probably going to bring you love and uh, you're going to be you're going to be victorious. You're going to charge forward. And like I said, I, I was look. this. is Yeah. So this love, this is the four of wands. They were telling me and the four of wands often represents a marriage like, a, you know, and stability like, wow, you know, so um. Basically, I think we all just uh, got to get through this Mars and Aries retrograde. We've also got a Mercury retrograde. And when that stuff is over, everybody's going to be feeling a whole heck of a lot better. So um, that's what I got for you. And so see you next time, Taurus.